Hey guys, Charm Nights here and welcome back to my channel and today as you can tell by the title we are doing it's I'm gonna call this a series. Um, I'm going to call it something like monochrome Mondays or monochromatic Monday. So obviously as you guys if you've been here long enough you saw what I got for Christmas and I got the Colourpop Vault which had like an array of rainbow colours in it. Obviously they're all monochrome so everything in there is obviously of all the same colour. So we have red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. So what I thought would be really cool is do a different look with each palette and try them out. So this is the first one. So I went with the main squeeze one first. I, I was I didn't know which one to do first and my husband said do, do either red or orange I think he said. I can't red. I don't, I don't know. But I went with the red one. So um, yeah first impressions of this I absolutely because this is literally the first time I put these eyeshadows on my face I've tried one super shock shadow that the lovely Linda Passa sent me and I loved it but I wanted to get some more of their stuff and my husband brought me some for Christmas which I'm so so happy about um, and this was the first one so I will give you my proper thoughts at the end but if you would like to see how I created this main squeeze look then carry on watching guys so obviously this is the main squeeze palette from Colourpop and the first shade we're going in is Fro Frosé I'm gonna call it Frosé I probably pronounced it wrong but we're just gonna put that in the crease and blend it out as our transition shade now I really really did go hard on the blending of this shade I'm using like an angled fluffy brush just to build up the colour in the crease and just blend it right up towards the brow and now we're going into the shade like it's hot and we're just going to build that up in the outer corner and then bring it up in the crease as well i'm just using like a, a small packing sort of a blending brush to apply this and then i will blend it out once i've applied as much as i wanted So I've built that colour in the outer corner and up in the crease over the top of the transition shade and then I'm taking this fluffy Morphe brush and I'm just blending it all together. Now we're taking this NYX, NYX Above and Beyond concealer and we're cutting a crease in the inner corner. Cutting it slightly higher because I do apply some glitter in the crease as well. And now we're going into the shade Juicy Fruit and we're taking a flat packing brush and we're just going to focus this on the inner corner portion of the eye where you've added the concealer. Then we're taking the shade Maraschino and we're putting this sort of on the centre part of it. And then we are taking the shade Home Slice and we're putting that on the outer corner. just packing on the colour and building it up until I'm completely happy and then I'm taking a fluffy brush and you will see shortly I've, I've, I swap between two brushes the small fluffy brush and a larger fluffy, fluffy brush to blend it all out wow that was a mouthful and now we're just building up the deepness in the outer corner using red bottoms and um, just focusing that mainly on the outer corner and up into the crease and just with a little fluffy brush now we're taking this Bang Beauty eyeliner and we're just going to do a simple eyeliner because we will be putting lashes on. And now we are taking this LA Splash, um, it's like a glitter liner in the colour Rosaline and we're just going to put that in the crease. We're just going to sort of focus it on the inner corner, not bring it out all the way across the eye, just the, the most part. And for mascara, we are taking the Bare Minerals uh, mascara. It's the Lashtopia one, love it. 
and we're going to do the other eye and then apply some lashes and these were from Glossy Box. These were the uh, LA Splash Golden Gatsby ones. Once we have our full face on we are going into like it's hot again and we're going to blend this into the lower lash line just to smoke it out and make the look look more finished. Once that's done, we're going back into the Lash Topia and we're applying that over the false lashes and on the lower lashes. And now we're taking an Avon Mark liner and just using that in the waterline. It's just a basic black liner. And for lips, we are going into the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte in the colour Venus. For highlight, we are using the Moonchild palette from Anastasia and the colour Pink Heart. And there we are. look guys that is it i wanted to use as many colors as i possibly could out of this palette it is absolutely this is literally like a palette that i would probably reach for quite a lot the colors because obviously my hair is red it kind of goes with my hair quite a lot i love the shimmer shades in the middle i will show you it a little bit closer there so you can see it properly um if you would like to see just a pure swatch video of this let me know and i'll either put it up on here or up on my instagram so um absolutely love it love the formula love how they blend honestly i highly these are so affordable as well obviously the vault was like you know a little bit more expensive because it had all of the um eyeshadow palettes in it but these blend like an absolute dream like they are so pretty i mean the shimmer shades alone i mean this one in the center this is a maraschino oh, look look at it but they're so pigmented as well I'm, honestly i'm blown away by how much i love these I, if this is what all the other colors are like which i know it's going to be because their formula is you know people talk about their formula all the time and say how good it is how affordable it is and yeah for the first palette that i've used from the entire <laughs> color pop um like monochromatic set, uh, vault absolutely love it so like i said this will probably be a series in fact it will be a series so i'm just going to say it now i'm going to put it out there into the universe so that i don't forget so yeah i will do a look each look one every monday i'm going to stick to monday so monochromatic mondays will be a different color from the vault if you do want to get on board with this obviously if you have these palettes and you want to get on board with any of the other colors that I do just let me know in the comments below uh, or just message me on Instagram and um, I'm happy to do a little collab if you want to get in on it and we can mention each other in each other's videos so then we can all be involved um, but yeah as for me I will be doing this every Monday regardless if anybody joins or not but this, this is the first in the series I really hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a big thumbs up if you haven't subscribe to the channel and see what else is to come but I'm gonna let you guys go I hope you have a great day night morning evening whatever it is you're doing when you're watching this and I'll see you in the next one bye